Yo, what's going on guys? Many here and welcome back to Sunday League with Under The Radar FC. It is time for the London Cup. Last year, we went out to Highgate Albion in a bad manner as well. I think we even went down to 10 men and we lost that game 4-2. Not a great result. This year, we want to go further. So today, let's see if we can build the first block for that. The lineup is like this. A new goalkeeper in goal, Tyler. Brad, Harry, Tolu and Quams in defence. Joseph returning to the side. Marcel and Malachi in midfield with him. Lamre on the right. Thomas through the middle and Eri on the left with a bench of Harvey, myself, Myro, and Tops. And before you guys ask, Manny, why aren't you starting? I was absolutely slumped. I had a crazy night. I'm a father of two now. Second baby. I am knackered. Ah, uh, yeah, yo, yo, obviously. New kit, in that. New kit. Thank you so much for Lionel Scott for providing our kit this year. I can't like, I haven't even seen this yet. No one's seen it yet. This is the first reveal. In the box. No, man. Hey, sit down. Yeah, hey, hey, sit down. Yeah, hey, hey, sit down. Hey, sit down. Hey, sit down. Hey, Ooh. Hey, uh, listen to me with that. It's a mad thing, bro. Oh, hey, get off the ball. Get off the ball. Look. Crazy. Oh, oh, hey, get off the ball. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. We know about these, dog. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> there's hella kids in here, guys. What we are going to do is very easy. Number things. Check your numbers. Ooh. Malachi. Ooh. Oh, oh, check these, dog. Yes guys, Manny from Under The Radar FC here and I have some amazing news. Our new front of shirt sponsor is going to be Omada. We know you guys love the entertainment, but as well as that, look forward to a responsible message, which makes Omada the perfect partner. On Omada, you can battle it out against your friends in a great environment for fun and just for pride. Nothing else on the line. Myself and the squad are going to be getting involved this year. Make sure you jump in too. Do not miss out on the fun. And who has the best ball knowledge out of you and your friends? Let's find that out. We're going to be playing. Do you guys have what it takes to take us on? Let's see. Young. Changing the game. Ambitious. Amada. Under the radar. 23-24 season. So we have to read. Let's go! As I mentioned, new sponsorship. Front of shirt sponsor for the 23-24 season is Omada. And what a kit this is. UTR today will be playing up against Zaza, a team that I haven't known too much about. I haven't heard too much about them. We've made the trip to North London and I'm sure this will be a pretty good game. But they're in this sort of grey and black strip. We're in our new white kit. It should be a good one. We've given away an early free kick. They whip that towards the box. It's headed away by Qualms and it's going to be flicked on further by the furthest man up the pitch, Lanray. He wins the ball back for us and plays it here to Eri. Eri's got a couple of Zaza shirts in front. Looks to spread the play, which he does to Bradley. Uh, Bradley's got Joseph in field. Sees Thomas, thinks about it for a second. Joseph's going to pick it up now. Plays it into the gap. Marcel, good first touch. He plays it back to Tolu. This is good uh, possession here from UTR. Their manager on the side's turned into Pep Guardiola or Arteta with all the hand signals over there. But we've played it into Joseph. Joseph to Malachi. We're now into the box. Can we make something happen? Malachi into Thomas. And it's 1-0. That's a great demonstration of how to keep and move the ball. And UTR asserting themselves on this game already. Thomas with the goal. And what a nice move that was. I said their manager was moving like Pep on the sideline. We were playing like we were being coached by Pep. Joseph out here to Malachi, finds himself in a bit of room. One touch to set himself, plays it across the box, and Thomas gets there ahead of his man. 1-0 UTR. That is the exact start we're looking for. We've got it over on the left. It's Quams working it out to Eri. Eri trying to break for us. He's uh, caught there. I think the player stepped on his Achilles, tries to keep playing. Referee pulls it back. See it again. He's breaking away. Yeah, just stepped on and brought it down. Definite foul. On that free kick is Joseph, left footed into the box. Thomas tries to flick it over. Uh, Eri's jumping there with that guy. It's flicked up into the air. Marcel on it for UTR. Still less than five minutes been played in this game. Uh, Brad clips it down the line for Lanray. Lanray lets it go. Defenders come across and sold himself too short. Lan couldn't get the touch right. 
this is going to be a proper Sunday league season. We've got refs wearing bibs, refs turning up late and missing seven minutes of a first half. What are we seeing here? Joseph picks up the ball deep inside our half. A couple of Zaza shirts to get away from. He does it so well, though. That's a beautiful turn to the frustration of the Zaza midfielder. Joseph so smooth with it when he wants to get it going. Here he is again. Skips away from one. Shimmy's away from another. Still keeps possession. Uh, down this side, he's going to let it go on to Eri. Eri with the megs there. Goes to ground a bit too easily. Quams flies in there. And the referee gives a throw the other way. Joseph's just gone to ground there. The referee doesn't see anything wrong with it. It's a ball clipped over the top for um, their player to chase. Bradley gets his body in front and draws the foul very well. Easy decision. Joseph's not happy with the ref. He's letting it be known. And the referee's just communicating how he feels. The ball been played from right to left. It's Quams over on that far side. Got Joseph in field. Quams uh, lets it go to Joseph. Eri on the ball now. Tries to find it back into Quams. A stiff challenge there. Uh, we're calling for something. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Zaza play out to this left side. Captain's missed his touch. His fullback's going to help him out on the overlap. Plays it into this man here. Uh, under pressure from two UTR shirts. Zaza moving the ball quite nicely. That pass didn't go where they wanted it to, but they kept it nicely. And this is refreshing to see in Sunday League, you know. Not many teams actually try and keep the ball like this, but this is beautiful play from Zaza. And if they can get sunk at the end of it, it could be pretty special. Good work from Thomas to help us out. Over on the far side is Eri. It's the position he wants to get into. Eri wants to twist and turn his fullback all day long. Takes him to the byline, cuts it back. Full cross, stumped out. Wiku's on the ball. It's a wild superstar. Picks it up here. Uh, so silky with it. Look at that. Little Megs on the 11 there as well. As uh, Quams lumps it forward. Tolu chasing. Keeper's ball. UTR free kick. Brad on it. Tries to play quickly. Uh, uses Lan. Lan sees Bradley's overlap. Ignores it. Cuts inside. Can he make something happen? Tries to cut it in there to Thomas. Uh, comes to Thomas. Surrounded by three Zaza shirts. Able to hold them off for long enough. Plays it to Brad. First time delivery. Not a bad one. Harry's there. Good header. Great save. From the goalkeeper, gets it the second time of asking. And Harry is hungry for goals right now. Got two in the last game and wanted to get on the score sheet there. Good first time delivery from Brad. Harry did well to direct it goalwards. Goalkeeper gets to it the first time and the second time too. One nil up still, almost 25 minutes played. That's good work from Joseph again. Had a very bright start to the game and skipping past players for fun. And he does it once more and draws the foul. Standing over the free kick is Joseph, but Eri steps up, hits it wide of the mark. Qualms uh, for UTR, plays it up the pitch. He's uh, played it into Eri. Eri's been clipped. Referee doesn't see anything wrong with it. Zaza continue playing. Comes here to the young striker there. Very nippy player. He likes to move and he's doing that there as he glides there past Tolu for a moment. But Tolu's kept his ground, stays with him, gets past him once more. And Harry's there in the way. That's a corner. Zaza corner, left footed into the front post. Qualms clears. Tyler, who's not seen much action in the game. It's a big kick up the pitch for Eri to chase. Defender seems to be a little bit hesitant there and Eri almost gets something. Almost half an hour being played. It's Tolu with the long ball up the pitch for Malachi to chase. Malachi does chase, he's been nudged in the back and we're calling for a penalty. What do you guys think? Referees, comment down below. Is that a penalty? It's just the elbow in the back and nothing's been given. Surely that's a pen. But yeah, we have to move. Play goes on. It's a bouncing ball. Joseph lets it run across his body. Holds off the skipper and scouts a pass to the far side. Sees Eri in room. Eri back to his normal place. One on one with the fullback. Can he put him on skates? A couple of steps, a little bit of hesitation. Can he make something happen? Uh, takes him to the left and he goes away. He's gone to ground. And the referee does give the penalty this time. Bit of a clumsy challenge. Just trying to get back in desperation. That's what Eri can do to you. Put you on skates, can toast you. Look at that, like a slice of King's Mill bread. Absolutely toasted, goes to ground and that's a definite penalty all day long. And a chance for UTR to make it 2-0. Who's gonna take the pen? Standing over it is Joseph. Been bright in the game so far, as I've mentioned before. Can he add to that by getting a goal? Left foot, steps up, bottom bins. And he tucks it away, that's 2-0. I'm not gonna lie to you, when I watched that live, I thought Joseph had missed, I, I, was, I was baffed. I heard Bear Gate in the background. But he stepped up confidently, picked his spot, and put it into the bottom corner. 2 0 to UTR. <laughs> 2 0 up, a good space to be in. We need a third, though, to kill this game off. Uh, Zaza 
trying to build back into it there. Joseph wins it for us and once more just skips past players for fun. It's a joy to watch. He's still going up the pitch, runs into a stiff challenge there. Nothing given, it's played out wide and eventually it's pulled back. Marf is not happy. Joseph did well to pick up the ball, skipped away from two Zaza players like they were mannequins, drove into their half over the red and blue lines, kicked it through the legs of that player there and he's just been swiped at. Play goes on anyway, Eri on the ball, trying to wriggle away from his man there, wants a little bit of help from the referee, he's not gonna get, takes it to his left foot, ball into the box and goes behind for a corner. Can we get a third from this corner? Joseph out swinging, Eri meets the ball, heads it into the ground and it trickles wide. Zaza have earned themselves a free kick. It's taken by their midfielder there and it's gone wide of the mark. Just narrowly wide. I thought that could have been going in. It's on the edge of our box. Bit of a loose ball. Challenge there from the man in the middle. We're not happy with the manner of the challenge. Malachi's gone down in a heap. We have to take a second look at this. I don't think that it's, I mean, the, the manner of the challenge is poor, but if I was to slow it right down, he does get the ball first, but it's the high boot motion that is not nice, and Malachi's been caught there. Thomas chasing the ball. He's always got at least two Zaza players around him. Uh, plays it into um, Lanray. Lanray goes to ground there. He's gone to ground a bit easily there. And I don't think you're ever going to get that. Not because there wasn't contact, but because the manner in which he's gone down there. So you see it comes into Lanray there. There is contact, but the way he's gone down, it's not going to give the referee any um, help in making that decision. Almost half time. Good chest touch from the man. He's committed like three or four fouls so far. He's driven away from two UTR shirts there. Played it into his man uh, to the left. Nice work from him, to be honest. And uh, Zaza working it nicely at the moment. It's with the 11, cuts inside. He's ignored the overlap, tried to play a little clever ball, and he scored in the wrong goal. I have to say that they are a team that has like a bit of sharpness about them, so we have to be careful and we do need that third goal. Even you know, on EFC, uh, two is not a nice scoreline. On FIFA, it's never been a nice scoreline. So why would it be a nice scoreline in Sunday League? Uh, we've kept the ball nicely. Can we make something happen from this? Harry plays it through the lines. Malachi in a bit of room. Malachi decides not to shoot, goes to Eri, and his shot, his toe poke is tame. Comes back to Brad. Thumps it high up the pitch, met by a Zaza defender. Drops in the midfield to Marcel, uses his chest and his body very well. And Lamre is going to take over. Lamre, one man to beat maybe. Uh, tries to get round him, still keeps it. Lamre, still going. Lamre, could he finish it? He was so close to a special goal. He's not happy with the pullback though. No advantage given from the referee. And Lamre is not pleased with that. Great work from Marcel. Land took over. Couple of step overs. Gets him through the gap, been pulled back there. Was that even in the penalty area? Maybe just on the edge, but nothing given. Play goes on. Uh, nice turn from this man here. Uh, can he slip a pass through? He does so. Does into the box as well. And Bradley puts a little arm on the, def on the attacker. And that has been given for a penalty. Is this a way of the referee trying to even the scores? That is light. Malachi's one wasn't a penalty. So how can this be a penalty? It's very, very light there. I see that it's in the back as well. So if, if he'd given the Malachi one, I'd be like, yeah, cool, penalty, penalty. But for me, all I ask for is consistency from the refs. And I don't think we've had that here. Brad is uh, trying to protest his innocence. The referee's having none of it. And he's made his decision. It's 2-0, but could be 2-1 now. Can Tyler make himself a hero? Seven steps up, he's saved. It's going to come back to him though. And he puts it into an empty net. That's 2-1 and game on. And uh, Tolu's not releasing the ball right now. Seven's trying to get two players around him. I don't know what's going on here. Harry's come to back it. This always happens in Sunday League. Tolu and the seven still going at it. Tolu's not happy. I don't know what's been said. Tolu's asking him, why would I do that? I don't know what's been said. I don't know what's been said. But Tolu's mic'd up. So if you want to see what Tolu said, go and check out the episode of Mic'd Up on the UTR channel. But yeah, the penalty was saved. Not the greatest of saves, to be honest. And a tap in there is put away. So it's 2-1 and game on. Shortly after the whistle's gone for half time. And you know when certain decisions have gone 
the way they have, it's always going to spark a little bit of reaction. So players do want to talk to the referee. Marth, myself, rushed over to try and get people away. Um, but that's the thing with these referees when, they, when they're, they're quite set in their ways. So once they've made their decisions, we have to respect it. And that's where it is. But we're having a little discussion there just to see why he's making the decisions that he's making. And we were just asking for consistency. That's all. Not to say give us all the decisions, but consistency. Boys, 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 shut boys. up! Forget about the ref. We already see what game it is, man. We can't get in his ears. He said, oh, I could have given out five cards already. I could have given out five cards already. If you want me, when, I, when the second half starts, I'll give out cards. Forget about the ref. Don't get into his ears or whatever anymore, unless there's a blade of a foul. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. It's not worth it, because we're going to just start moving the right. But we have to win this game ourselves. That goal we conceded there, we sort of brought it on ourselves. When we could enjoy the ball or make them tired, we haven't done it. We've just been giving the ball and it's coming back, coming back. Like I always say, the defence can only defend for so long. At some point, if they keep coming in this area, we're going to concede something. So we've just got to try and keep it up that end. And when we get up that end, let's be clinical. One thing I will say is, on the ball, off the ball, we have been so well. Yeah, we, we've had some beautiful passages of play and we are unlucky to not come into this half 4 0 Yeah, we are unlucky. But for me, I apologise to you lot because I've let the ref round me up. This half, I'm going to calm down. Can we all calm down? The game is one with a ball at our feet and, a, and a, the ball in the back of their net. It's as simple as that. Time for the second half. What will this bring? More controversy? Who knows? Balls in the air. Thomas jumping. Thomas just jumped straight into their defender and that's an obvious foul. He knows that. Zaza with it on the left. The guy with the headband plays it into this man. Wriggles away from one challenge. Let's the shot go straight into the hands of Tyler. 2-1. Close game at the moment. Played down the line to this man. Malachi, fantastic challenge. Qualms, can he clear it for us? Takes a touch, plays it down the line. Well done. It's up in the air. Thomas brings it down. It hits off a of Joseph. He's been running past players all game. Can he continue that? Driving towards the box. Let's the shot go. High into the fence. Loose ball, controlled by the pink boots. No, I don't mean Mbappe. Some of you guys know what I'm talking about. It's a nice reverse ball into this striker. Harry does well to cover. Zaza corner. Uh, goes to the back post. Headed across by Sion Chu. Uh, goes into the box and uh, they're calling for a foul there. Nothing given. They got the first push. They won't get that one. And their shot's gone over the bar. Another Zaza corner. Pink boots. Good delivery, actually. Uh, keeper punches it away. It's headed further by Malachi. And it's volleyed back by the seven. Headed away by Tolu. Can it drop for Eri? Eri, can he go for a goal? Eri's been pulled back, held back. Eri's grabbed the seven as well. And uh, tempers are flaring. Heads are flying. Eri is not happy with that. He knows he would have been through and on goal, but he doesn't like the manner in which he's been dragged back and he needs to keep his head, the young boy. Oh my goodness. What a spectacle Sunday league is. You don't, you don't, see, you don't even get this in Man United Arsenal anymore. It's soft. You know that game where you used to get the Roy Keynes and Vieira clamp? You don't even get this anymore. Marth dragging Eri over though to try and get him to keep his head, but I can see his frustration. Next touch, he's thrown on goal. He's been pulled back, but he's grabbed the player. And if he stays on the pitch, he will be a very lucky boy. Things like this are going to happen, but we have to do our best not to react. And he's reacted there. So what, the ref, what is the referee going to do? It's going to be a yellow card. Eri still wants to protest his innocence. No, 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 no. He needs to be careful. Uh, a yellow card for the seven as well. Well, 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 we knew that was going to happen. We knew that was coming. Something like that. It's a ball in behind. They're claiming for a handball off a of Tolu there. And I don't think they can even claim that. It's kind of like the Van Dyke one against Brighton. Hits off another body part, hits onto him somewhere he doesn't even know about. I wouldn't give that personally. Brad's just thrown it into Tolu uh, in a bit of room. Sees a pass out wide. It's Eri now, lucky to be on the pitch. Can he do something special to make up for it? It's a shot there and it's gonna roll to the keeper. With that, we're gonna make our first substitutions. Myro on for Eri and Harvey on for Thomas. So then, uh, game, still a tight game. Nice feet from that man there. He's been bright, I'm telling you. He's been good on the ball. Clever feet, it's just his end product that's lacked at times. It again, picks it up nicely, keeps it. Can he make something happen? It's a ball in behind. And as I said, the end product. Just under 20 minutes to be played. Harvey's header comes down to Joseph. Joseph knocks it out here to Lamry. Lamry trying to find a way out. He does to Harvey. Joseph, lovely turn there. And can he get a pass out here to Myro? He does. Myro, one on one with his uh, fullback. Myro cuts it back. Nothing given. Play continues. Here's the skipper. He's got an engine on him. Look at him. Driving forward like a young Gwindozi. Uh, can he make something happen for them? No, he's been crowded out by UTR shirts. Here's me telling Marth to sort of chill out because he's going to get sent off. 
But he said he only had one red in his life. I don't believe him. UTR looking to keep it moving. Marcel to Myro. Myro into Joseph. And Joseph bursting away from the seven. The seven tries to commit yet another foul. Comes here to Harvey. Takes a touch inside. Another one set himself and one to let it go. There's no one following up though. They've escaped. Zaza still not out of this game. Captain's picked it up in a bit of room. Tripped over the ball though. And it's not quite going for him. He's set it back to his teammate there. Who's been dispossessed by Malachi. Malachi been clipped at there. Malachi is showing great feet. And the seven who's on a yellow. Still... Committing yet another foul. He knows. He's smart. He's experienced. He committed the foul and just walked away like nothing happened. That was a clip there. Great feet from Malachi. And he's lifted him. Yet no sanction. Joseph into Malachi. Tries to step over touch. Doesn't come off. They've played it back there. Tolu almost gets there. That would have been dangerous. Less than 10 minutes to go in this game. Myro's corner. In there. Tolu gets a touch to it. Marcel's battling. It's cleared away. Comes here to Lamre. Off of Tolu. Goes back to Lamre. He fires it off their defender. We're claiming for a handball. And the referee points to the spot for the third time in the game. Three penalties in one game. Lamre shot there. Hits off the defender. And yes. I think it's kind of harsh how quickly it comes. But just that movement there. It is a penalty. Harvey's going to take this penalty. He's been good the last few weeks. Steps up confidently and sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. That's 3-1. And I feel like we might have done what we needed to do. It's not done yet, but we're getting closer. Nice penalty from Harvey. Uh, Lamre feels like he's done his job there. He's excited and ready to come off. But Harvey stepped up, confident, planted his foot and placed the ball. It's 3-1. As we're going to make a change here. Tops is going to make his return to UTR Sport in the new kit. Looks fresh. Tops fresh. Uh, let's see what he can do. Zaza are not going to give up. It's pink boots. Fakes to shoot. Cuts back. Malachi kicks it. Ricochets off the pink boots. Captain plays it over here to this man. Spreads the play out wide. It's a ball across the box. Tyler's in the way. Still going. Probably their best player on the ball. Uh, tries to show some footwork there. Will he get crowded out? No, he's found a way between a few UTR players. Slips it through to this man. He's offside. Great save from Tyler anyway. And the second save and a block from Qualms as well. And uh, yeah, Qualms. It's not a climbing frame, G. So uh, time for me to step onto the pitch. I'll be honest, I wasn't trying to come on, but Joseph, a bit leggy. So I'm just going to take his place for the last five. Yeah, another great shift from this man, Qualms. Eri's going to go on and left back for the last few. It's just been cleared out from our back line. Drops to Harvey. He takes a touch and knocks it around the corner for Myro. Myro has myself, Tops, and Harvey making a late run into the box. Myro sets it back here to Harvey. Harvey! First time shot, top bins. And what a finish that is. This boy has been playing well the last few games. He's been a great signing for us so far. And if it was ever in any doubt from your point of view, surely that erases that. Myro sets it back first time, wraps it into the top corner. No compromise on that finish. Also, in that same weekend, the day before, he scored this. Zaza free kick, a skipper over it, deep to the back post. Can they get another goal back? Tops cuts it out, drops here to Tolu. Tolu, can he start a counter attack? Can we make it five? It's uh, Harvey taking over. Harvey sets it into my feet. I'm going to play it straight back. He's tried to knock it through the gap. I've blocked it by accident. Uh, going to win it back here though. Knock it to Harvey. Uh, Tolu flicks it around the corner. There's another counter going. Myra, I think, might just be offside just right now, but I think he's onside now. I don't know what I'm doing now. I've cut inside right into the bodies and I've lost it. That's poor from me. Yeah, Marth knows that I should have gone on the outside. I don't know what I was doing there, but it's going to be pretty much one of the last actions of the game as the referee blows his whistle and it's a 4-1 victory up against Zaza and uh, we advance to the next stage of the cup. Well played from the boys and I know that we're only going to build on this. The team looks strong this year. And uh, the rotation, even if we do rotate, I feel like we should still have a strong side. But hopefully we can build, build, build and keep on winning 
and let me know what you guys think of the kits down in the comment section below let me know your thoughts on the kits and we still have one more kit to show you guys as well if you have enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button also if you want to check out more content check out tolu mic'd up see what it's like to play against our skipper what's his talking like what's his communication like and what's his banter like but yeah other than that guys i'll catch you soon peace